Satellite photo shows the state's two fire zones and the north, a fire that all but wiped out the town of Paradise has torched more than 100,000 acres. In the south, two fires have destroyed more than 150 homes in the foothills and canyons outside of Los Angeles. Malibu looks like a war zone, homes and businesses destroyed. Charred earth as far as the eye can see. All this as the Woolsey fire is still nowhere near contained. It really seems like we're chasing it. Um, it moves so fast, uh, so aggressive, and the fire behavior is just so intense. So far, the fire has displaced 250,000 people with fire crews at their breaking point. It's the location of the Camp Fire, one of the most destructive in the state's history, where close to 7,000 homes and businesses have burned. The fire almost completely wiped out the town of Paradise, and hundreds of thousands of residents in the area have fled. About 500 miles south, near Los Angeles, the Woolsey and Hill fires have burned more than 70,000 acres and forced at least a quarter of a million people to evacuate. This is video of a home collapsing as our crew rolled on the fire. This is right off Canaan Doom Road. This is a scene that we have seen over and over again. Large homes in the Malibu Hills in the Oak Park area simply collapsing. This video shows a Volkswagen sedan engulfed in flames on Pacific Coast Highway yesterday, also near Canaan Doom. We're told a relative went to check on a family member and the flames moved so quickly, the car didn't stand a chance. The entire town of Paradise, which is home to about 27,000 people, is leveled. The city center, as well as surrounding homes, are gone. We're told that about 900,000 acres have burned and 6,500 homes destroyed. More than 50,000 people remain evacuated. And as of last night, the fire is only 5% contained. The campfire north of Sacramento has destroyed more than 6,700 structures and consumed more than 90,000 acres. Most of one town was incinerated. Overnight, the Woolsey fire showed no signs of slowing down. As homes reduced to their foundations by the flames toppled to the ground. So many homes have burned in Southern California. 200,000 people have been evacuated. That's roughly the population of Salt Lake City. Bone dry conditions and unrelenting winds have blown this blaze forward at a breakneck pace. Firefighters are struggling to keep up. People on the ground in this Malibu neighborhood watched yesterday as planes dumped fire retardant to delay the flame's steady march toward the Pacific Ocean. As thousands of evacuees scrambled to leave their endangered neighborhoods, bumper to bumper traffic piled up on California's Pacific Coast Highway, where just hours ago the fire jumped the road. Nearby, a student journalist at Pepperdine University took video as flames crested the hills above campus. Up north in Paradise, California, it looks like a war zone. The town of 27,000 people was completely destroyed by the so-called campfire. Firefighters are just beginning the process of containing that blaze. At least nine people died in the flames, some in their cars as they tried to escape, and dozens more are missing. This morning, California on fire, blazing both ends of the state as crews work around the clock to fight back the flames. It feels like um, the Garden of Eden just turned into gates of hell. The wildfire is showing little signs of slowing down, leaving neighborhoods in ruins as anxious evacuees wait to see if they'll have a home to return to. In Southern California, the Woolsey fire now spanning two counties, exploding in size within hours and jumping the 101 freeway, creating a traffic nightmare clogged with over 200,000 residents, including those from the city of Malibu. Those firefighters are so stretched, they can't even get to fires like this. This is a multi-million dollar home uh, south of Calabasas, where we are right now. In fact, this entire neighborhood 
has been obliterated. All the mountains around here are scorched and not a firefighter in sight. That's how stretched they are across Southern California this morning. Overnight, those fires ousting hundreds of thousands of residents from their homes. A line of fires in Southern California turning homes to cinders, racing across the landscape faster than firefighters can contain them. Residents like Rebecca Hackett desperate to outrun the flames, filming on Instagram as embers pelted her car. Please, God, please let me out. But the aftermath here is apocalyptic. The Woolsey and Hill fires have grown to 40,000 acres in Ventura and Los Angeles counties. Chaos, fire engines everywhere. The houses near me were, were burning. Uh, embers were flowing all across my house. Fires forcing evacuations of star-studded neighborhoods like Malibu and Calabasas, with many celebrities posting to their social media accounts with their status. And several homes belonging to celebrities are also being threatened by this very active fire here in Southern California. Homes belonging to Alyssa Milano, Caitlyn Jenner, and Kim Kardashian West. There is a thick blanket of smoke across this area this morning as homes are still smoldering. A handful of those people who died in this fire were actually inside of their cars trying to race to safety, but it all just happened too fast. This is now the most destructive fire ever in California history as this community has been reduced to rubble. This morning, the death toll rising at the campfire. The blaze ripping through 90,000 acres of land, destroying more than 6,000 homes in just a few hours. We're in a neighborhood surrounded by flames. You can see flames shooting out of the roof of this home. And then check out this tree right here. You have flames shooting hundreds of feet up into the air. This entire community is burned to the ground. Everything here is gone. This weekend, large parts of the community look like a bomb exploded, leaving only rubble and heartbreak behind. It was pure chaos when the fire swept through this area. You can see this car crash. Some drivers simply jumped out and ran for it. We have seen miles upon miles of charred cars. Nearly 25,000 without power in Butte County up north and close to 20,000 more powerless in Southern California. Parts of paradise now look more like a wasteland. Cars incinerated, homes destroyed, and animals helplessly roaming the streets, including this dog burned and confused, a highway patrolman stopping to help. We just heard what sounded like an explosion in the distance, and a police officer told us it was propane tanks. That's another explosion. Propane tanks exploding. Homes like these are burning. No firefighters are around. It's not because they don't want to be here. It's because there's so much fire to fight that they're having to prioritize life over property. The flames have moved so fast here that there's not a lot the firefighters can do. Ken Pimlot is director of CAL FIRE. That fire from the second it started was off to the races. It's all hands on deck to rescue people and ensure getting people out of harm's way. Look at this line of burned out vehicles. People either stopped here on the side of the road because they couldn't go any further or because they literally wanted to get out and run for their lives. Look at the damage done to one of these vehicles. The city of Malibu is at risk. Powerful, unrelenting 40 mile per hour winds are pushing flames toward the Pacific, claiming home after home. Nearly 100,000 people in Southern California have had to evacuate. This is why we've seen dozens of homes engulfed in flames. There was complete gridlock on the Pacific Coast Highway as the wall of flames hopscotched through neighborhoods. Even if people can evacuate their homes, this is what they have to contend with. Thick, thick smoke. This fire exploded overnight. As horrific as it looked from the air, it was worse on the ground. KCBS reporter Jeff Wynn found himself trapped in the middle of the firefight. You can hear the level of urgency from these guys. By daybreak, homes lay in ruins, as did an iconic movie location. The Paramount Ranch has been the setting for nearly 500 film and TV westerns from Gunsmoke to Westworld. This fire has been very unpredictable. You can see that home right there is untouched. Well, feet away, that car burned down. And this is the level of devastation as you come up the hillside. State fire officials are investigating what caused the fire. But we do know that electric company PG&E experienced a problem with an electrical transmission line near the site of the fire minutes before it broke out. As for the cause of this fire, the local utility company said they had a problem with a power line right before the fire broke out, but the official cause is still under investigation.